In this beginner's guide to OneNote, I will show you how this digital notepad will transform your note-taking skills, so you can ditch pen and paper forever. In this video, I will show you how to create your notes and keep them organized, how to find them, and how you can share your notes with others. Stay to the end of this video, and I will show you the tricks I use when using OneNote to capture meeting notes. But first, what is OneNote? OneNote is a digital notepad which you can access from any device. There's a web version, desktop version, and a mobile app. So you always have your notes to hand. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the Windows app, but they all work in the same way. To get started with OneNote for Windows, click Start and search for OneNote. I recommend that you pin this to your taskbar so you can easily access your notes. When you first go into OneNote, it may look like this. I'm not a fan of this view, it feels a bit crammed, so I'm going to change it. To do this, go to View, click Tabs Layout, and select Horizontal View. I just feel this view has more space. Tell me what you think in the comments below. When you log into your work or school account, typically it will have your name and your organization across the top here. It is possible to create other notebooks, and I'll show you how to do these later in the video. In a notebook, you have sections, and you can add a new section by clicking here. Sections are like chapters in a book. Well, for those of you that remember the lever arch files, these are like the dividers in the folder. When you right click on a section, you get multiple options. For example, you can change the section color. All sections start off with one page, but if you need to, you can add more by clicking here. To start creating your notes, Give your notes a title, and then you can start typing your notes. And you can type your notes anywhere on the screen. So it's not like Word where you're sort of restricted to the left-hand side. You can click anywhere and just simply start typing. Up here you've got some formatting options, similar to what you might get in Word, where you can format your text. On the Insert tab, there's lots of different things you can insert into your notes. So you can do things like tables, spreadsheets, screen clippings, videos, transcriptions. And there's also a new feature or newish feature called loop components. And I will cover this in another video. To give you the short answer now, these loop components can be shared in different Microsoft applications like Teams and Outlook and help to improve collaboration with your colleagues. The other tab I wanted to show you is the draw tab. This is useful if you have a pen like this where you can actually write in your notes. To do this, choose the pen style and start writing. This can be a great way to get your ideas down quickly, like when brainstorming. With OneNote, you can turn your handwriting into typed text. First, select the text, then click Ink to Text. OneNote can even understand my messy handwriting. So now you know the basics of how to create your notes. The next trick is how to find them afterwards. So let me show you. So over here, you've got search notebooks. Click here to choose where you want to search. You can choose to search within this section, page or notebook. These can help to narrow down the search results. In this example, I'm going to keep it as all notebooks. I'm gonna type in a search phrase and it will start to find it, so it's picked up some recent pics. And uh, if I click onto these, it will highlight the word that I've searched for. And one of the things that I like about this is that it also search for handwriting as well. So I've typed in rebel and there it is, it's found rebel as part of my handwriting, which is really cool. Another way to find your notes is by sorting them. So here I am now in the tasks section so over here on the right, I've got multiple pages. And to be able to sort these, I just click here and I've got my sort options. So I've got alphabetical, date created, or date modified. My favorite one is date modified. So when I click on here, the last one that I modified goes to the top. And what I really like about this is if I go into another page, so let's go to the bottom one. And if I make a change, and as soon as I make the change, it automatically goes to the top of that list. So this makes it easier for me to find my latest notes within this section. Another way that you can organize your pages is by manually moving them. And to do this, you click here, select none, 
And now you can just manually just drag the pages to where you want them to go. You can also do this with your sections. So if I drag my section over here, I can move it into position. There may be times where you want to share your notes with others. There are different ways that you can do this. Let me show you how. You can do this when creating a new notebook and you can also do it with an existing notebook. I'm going to show you both of these. So to create a new notebook, click here and then select Add Notebook. Browse to the location where you want to save your notebook. I'm saving mine into OneDrive in a folder called Notebooks. I enter the name of the new notebook and click Create. You then get a prompt to share this notebook with others. So click Invite People, enter their contact details. Over here you can choose their permissions. Do you want them to be able to edit the notebook? or is it view only? For this example, I'm happy for Michael Scott to be able to edit this notebook. I can pop in a message in there and then press send. Michael gets an email notification like this, which shows him that he's been invited to this notebook and he can then go in here, click open and it will take him straight in and he'll be able to edit that notebook. If after you've created your notebook and you decide that you want to change the permissions for Michael Scott or perhaps you want to invite someone else to be able to view or make changes to this notebook, you can do that really easy. You just go over here to share and then click manage access. So you can click here to add someone else and then just enter their, their name or email address. And similar to before, you can choose their permissions, then click grant access and the user will be notified. And if you want to remove someone, it's back to the same place, manage access. So this time I'm gonna remove Michael Scott. So I click here and then click here on the drop down, and then click on this option. So I've got the option there for Michael to read these notes only. So view, can't make any changes. But in this example, I want to remove him completely. So I click remove, click here. Now his access has been removed. To share note pages without giving access to the notebook, you have two options. One option is to simply email the page. You can do this by clicking email page. It opens up a new email with my notes from OneNote straight into the email. Another way is to convert this into a PDF. To do this, go to file, then you've got export, and here you have the option to export as a PDF. So choose where you want to save your PDF, so I'm just going to save it to my downloads folder, click save. And here we have our notes as a PDF, which we can also share very easily. Here's a bonus tip. Imagine using OneNote to make your meeting notes super clear and organized. Watch this video to learn the tricks to help you capture your meeting notes more effectively with OneNote.